In this community here, everyone shares everything. From money to cars. And even laundry. My name is India and you are about to get a look at one of Israel's very own utopian communities, otherwise known as a kibbutz. A kibbutz is a type of collective community that only exists in Israel. And we are at one right now. Here at the Hatzerim Kibbutz in South Israel, everyone makes the same amount of money. Whether they work on the farm, or in high tech. That's because all the money people make goes into the community. Here, there is no stress of paying rent or bills because the kibbutz covers it all. Even cars are shared. The cars and keys you are seeing now belong to everybody here. So yes, a kibbutz is a community based on the idea of socialism, where ownership of almost everything is shared. You see, kibbutz communities started to pop up around Israel before it officially became a country. Actually, they were incredibly important to the establishment of Israel. Today, there are still around 270 of these communities, but they're not all what they used to be. Why? Well, kibbutz communities no longer share their resources like they used to. However, Today, we are at one of the last communities in Israel that still operates by sharing everything. This is what it's like. First off, life here is largely centered around farming. What you are seeing now are jojoba trees, and that is what this kibbutz is growing. But of course these plants need water. This kibbutz actually invented the now famous drip irrigation system that made it possible to grow crops in the desert. That is why this community is actually very wealthy. The money produced from manufacturing this irrigation system and growing these crops goes to support the kibbutz. Not only do they work the farm together, they also do laundry together. There are around 1,000 people who live here, so that's a lot of dirty clothes. Everyone's clothes has a number on them like this. First, they put their clothes together for washing. Then, once they are clean, they are sorted and returned to you based on your assigned number. And when you are hungry, you can just come to the kibbutz cafeteria, where they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Now I should add, if you want to join the community, it is not so easy. You have to go through a rigorous application process, or get married to someone in the kibbutz to live here but it could all be worth it. Here, you don't have to worry about food, clothes, or rent. Even healthcare and college are paid for. So now you can see why some people call it a utopia. But there is a side to these communities that led to their decline in the past. Many people feel that there is simply no privacy. Back in the day, even children were shared among some of the kibbutz communities. Kids didn't live with their families. Instead, they lived in children's homes with the other kids their age. Some people were not pleased to grow up this way. So kibbutz communities evolved. Today, some share more of their resources and others share less. But they usually have one thing in common. Community comes first. This is life on a kibbutz. This is Inside Israel! Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time!